Anger and frustration result from built-up desires within us that are unfulfilled. Anger is as dangerous as desire, passion. Man first desires something strongly, and if he cannot get it in time, the desire turns into anger. They are both nothing but double-edged sides of the same sword that destroy man. At the start of celibacy, the mind which was earlier used to craving for desires and fulfilling them through the concept of sex now finds itself marooned and held back within the bounds of celibacy like a criminal shut inside the walls of a prison. It retaliates with anger and tries to find a way out. There is no cause to worry or fear. The secret of taming this criminal prisoner is by ensuring a lot of constructive work, physical exercise and prayer, spiritual activities are loaded onto the mind and body and targets set for it to achieve. Whenever a celibate faces rebellion from the mind and body against the act of celibacy, he should use his intellect and remind himself that he has taken up this great and noble job of taming this criminal mind and converting it into a virtuous mind so he can ascend the ladder of bliss. Just as a criminal refuses and revolts against the concept of reform at the initial stages, but gradually realizes his mistakes and becomes a good man the mind also needs to be firmly dealt with and told to change its erratic ways keeping in view the enormous bliss and happiness it will shortly start enjoying after celibacy gets established. When a man starts a life of celibacy, his old tendencies and instincts try to make him fail. But a man of great strength and power refuses to let these obstacles rob him of success and gradually ascends the throne of purity.